welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Michelle Expert and I hope that you're going to enjoy all the content that is on this channel and that is to come. It is still the season to be jolly and we are still doing Vlogmas. Woohoo! I'm so proud of myself. Let me be very honest with you because I am doing this and it's just going so well. Part of the challenge for me this year was to literally do all the 22 days and just like be consistent and so far so good I'm excited and it's giving me hope that we're going to get to the finishing line like the bosses that we actually are mm. Whew, so I'm super excited if you are new to this vlogmas uh, segment we are doing 22 lessons I learned in 2022 I'm sharing with you guys some of the lessons that I learned from this year hoping that you can relate and they can also be lessons that you can begin to reflect um, on while you plan for the upcoming year so on this video I'm about to expose myself and I hope that you guys can actually give me the grace, the love, and all those amazing things on the comment section after I have, because this video is a little too personal for me. <laughs> a very a little too personal for me, but you know what? One of the things that I really want to do more on this channel is to be completely transparent, and part of sharing my lessons with you guys is also kind of being vulnerable with you guys. So I hope that you can take that with some grace and appreciation as well. So 2022, Two for me was a great year despite um or let me not say despite but with everything that it, it came with the negative and um, the things that i wish i could have changed and 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 it was generally a great year for me um in a lot of ways and one of the ways was financially it for me for my brand my business and just a lot of things that i do financially it was a really good, good year i think last year was as well um but yeah this year also I, I think was kind of a level up and kind of gave me a bit of insight on my earning potential right however what happened through the course of the year is that I found myself feeling paralyzed, like feeling um, like I can't move. And this is where this was coming from because then I, I, I investigated this and I realized where this thing was coming from. I realized that because I was making a substantial amount of money or a bit more money than I usually am used to making, I was nervous. I was scared. And I was scared because part of me felt like number one, yes, I've always wanted to do that, but that's new to me. Number two, that it would run out. And if it, it would run out and I'd go back to being broke again, or I will never have money in my life. And, and, but I just found like arriving to a point that I wanted to arrive to and then being so scared because ah, it's going to finish. So I'm not gonna move. I'm not gonna make decisions about the money and, 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 and. And it really made me realize with time that I was living with a scarcity mindset, that I had come to a point of the abundance that I pray for, but I was still operating with a scarcity mindset instead of being um, level-headed and having a steadfast spirit in the season that I'm in and beginning to plan and work around what I believe God has blessed me with. Um, and that just comes to the lesson that I want to share with you guys. My lesson was to live in abundance. And living in abundance for me, what I learned this year was that it's a mindset thing more than it is a financial or a, a, a material thing. It's really a mindset thing. Changing my mind to a, 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 an abundance mindset for me was looking at it like this way, like I've been blessed with this, with like these finances from all the work that I do and, and you know, and with that, I get to do several things that I've always wanted to do in my life. For instance, I get to go on holiday. I also get to, you know, I provide for my family. I also get to pay people salaries. And I had to change my mind from, oh, it's month end, money has to leave my account. I've got so much money, but now it has to leave my account. I have to pay people salaries. I have to, I had to change my mind from having to, to I get to, because it is such a blessing. And part of that was also owning and, 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 and realizing that it is such a blessing for money to flow through you. And by flowing through you, it, it means that God will bless you with all of this abundance, financial abundance in my case, where it's not for you to just keep and hold because, oh my God, this is great. I never want to lose it again. Again, but it's for you to let it flow through you because only through the flow do more blessings come only through the flow do you capacitate yourself to actually receive more oh that was so powerful oh my god that was so good 
so so good but that's really what it is only through that more do you then open yourself up for even more it's like the story of the talents in the bible where the one that had more the one that did more with what they had were trusted with more you know and that's just the type of person that i pledge to want to be and i begin to change my mindset to living in abundance to realizing that it's not a numbers thing it's not a financial thing it's not me feeling like this money is going to run out because i've been blessed with it and i've done the work to receive it um, so now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to just live in abundance and do more and work more and enjoy it more and then allow myself space for more to flow flow through me so that I can also enjoy it so that was the lesson that I learned for me is live in abundance you can never hoard you can never um, you can never keep any amount of money forever you know it will always be spent through various things and it's really important to realize that an, an abundance mindset is really just a mental thing and that really what it was for me um so my encouragement to you with this lesson is that begin to live in abundance you know sometimes we really underestimate how much we pray for things and then once they're here we like i don't know I, I really don't know and we don't know what to do with it after we've prayed with it because sometimes we pray for these dreams that are so big thinking that we're going to receive them in five years when we're ready or in five years when we don't know what happens and then it comes earlier than you expected and you just kind of feel like okay maybe i wasn't prepared what do i do how do i move past this you know and all of that stuff and it's just for me the lesson has just been live in abundance in whatever season that you are in it doesn't matter whether or not you've got money it doesn't matter whether or not you've got the right part now whatever the case is live in abundance and living in abundance means that there will always be enough for me and i want money love peace abundance grace everything to flow through me because flowing through you means it's within you to others as when when you become a blessing to others god will definitely bless you so that is one of my lessons for the 2022 lessons i learned in 2023 i hope you resonate i hope that it also inspires you i hope that it speaks to you in any way if you've been through something similar let me know in the comment section below if you did enjoy this video as well let me know in the comment section below do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel we are really in the process of trying to grow this channel and hoping for 10k subscribers pretty soon so thank you thank you thank you so much if you're watching and do share this video to people that you know might actually find it very useful as well so yeah thank you guys so much i'll see you guys in my next video goodbye